hello students so in this video we will solve p4 june 2024 paper which is the most recent paper for p4 so in this video i will try to explain as much detail as possible so that you can understand in a better way and every concept will be covered in this uh, video so basically the whole paper will be under a playlist and for each question for solution of each question there will be like a video like in a video I will solve a question in in the next video I will solve the next question so it will be easier for you to uh, go through the playlist okay so let's get started with the first question so basically the first question is from integration uh, you know in P4 there's like uh, two to three processes for integration four processes so one of them is integration by parts so in this question number one uh, we need to integrate using by parts method definitely I, I hope so you have idea about the by parts method so let's get started so in number one uh, we need to integrate this equation this integral using by parts method now you might ask that how did I understand that I have to use by parts method here so the answer is that if you see the integral the equation within the integral it is x cos 3x x cos 3x so the two different type of algebraic expressions one is uh, trigonometric cos 3x is trigonometric and x is algebraic so both are in multiplied form so since they are multiplied form we have to integrate them using by parts method so in by parts method what we basically do we take one for differentiation and the other one for integration so in that case here most of the students get confused like which should be taken for integration and which one should be taken for differentiation so let me show you the easiest way to consider that thing so we will use this sequence L A T E we will use this sequence how the letter L the letter which comes first which is L here so L means L L is the first letter for logarithms okay so that means this sequence is basically for differentiation like the letter which comes first okay will be taken for differentiation okay so L is it's for logarithms so in the given integral there is no logarithmic terms next see a a goes for algebra there is an algebraic expression here which is X so this will be taken for differentiation so we will take what u equals to what X and the next one will be taken for what integration look t comes then so this is trigonometric so this will be taken for what integration dv over dx equals to what cos 3x okay so now what we can do du over dx we will differentiate since we took u x so it will be t it has been taken for differentiation we will differentiate we got one and integration of cos 3x is what we know that differentiation of cos 3x is what negative sine 3 sin 3x so cos 3x will give sin 3x definitely but it is reverse chain rule right so for reverse chain rule what we need to do cos 3x was there so cos 3x will give sin 3x that's fine now differentiate the part the composite part composite part is what 3x if you differentiate 3x you will get 3 so use this 3 to divide the coefficient which is 1 third of sin 3x okay so that's the integration for cos 3x now we will use the uh, by parts method like uv integration of u times dv over dx right x because I'm not considering the intervals right now dx equals to what equals to uv uv is what 1 over 3 1 over 3 x 
sin 3x uv minus integration of v times du over dx so v is what one third so take one third outside the integral okay v times du over dx so sin what 3x dx now plus c the integral cons integration constant so we'll get 1 over 3x sin what sin 3x negative okay integration of sin 3x is what cos 3x right integration of sin 3x is cos 3x cos 3x then we need to do the reverse chain rule so differentiate the part within the bracket you will get what 1 you will get 3 but we need to divide it div we will use this to divide the coefficient so one one third right so negative one third it was before the integral now look differentiating cos 3x will give negative sine something sine 3x 3 sine 3x negative sine sine 3x okay so but you can see that here there is no negative sign right so since there is no negative sign that means integration of sin 3x would give negative one third of what cos 3x make sense because if you differentiate cos 3x you will get what negative 3 sin 3x so negative 3 times negative one third will become positive one so you see this is positive one here it is what positive one so it becomes equal to the part within the integral okay then plus c remains as it is outside okay so what you will get 1 over 3 x sine 3 x then negative 1 third times negative 1 third it will become plus 1 over 9 cos what 3 x plus c now we need what now consider the intervals the intervals were pi over 6 pi over 6 and what pi over 6 and the lower limit is what 0 right so x cos 3x dx equals to what it is equals to we got the integration integral right so put it there put the integral there 1 over 3x sine 3x plus what 1 over 9 1 over 9 cos 3x so indefinite integral definite integral we don't need what c so pi over 8 0 okay now put the upper limit the upper limit is what pi over 8 so that would be what pi over 3 times 24 two, 3 times 8 is what 24 so pi over 24 we are substituting the upper limit and sine 3x sine 3 pi by 8 so 3 pi by 8 is what use your calculator to find out so the value you will get okay take your calculator mode to radian and then find sine 3 pi over 8 so sine 3 pi over 8 is it's sine 3 pi over 8 is okay we are not getting exact value 3 pi over 8 definitely they wanted the exact value okay so 3 pi over 6 okay, okay I didn't notice that it is pi over what 6 so that should be pi over what 18 it should be pi over what not 24 it should be pi over 18 and sine 3 pi over 6 so sine 3 pi by 2 this is 1 so plus cos 3 pi by 6 so that is cos 3 pi by cos pi over 2 cos pi over 2 is 0 right so it is 0 and uh, sine the law limit is 0 so sine 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1 so you will get what negative 1 over 9 and this is basically the value for the integral that is asked in question number one okay so that's all